Assalamu alaikum. My name is Wali Momand. And my name is Dana Hashmi. Welcome to the BHA virtual tour. Let's begin. Behind us here, we first have Dr. Matarea's office. Dr. Matarea serves as our middle and high school principal, whereas Ms. Ansaf is our elementary principal. Here we have our trophy display case at the front of the building. BHA is a part of TAPS, the Texas Association of Private and Parochial Schools. This means that we play sports competitively with other schools and we compete at competitions and we challenge each other to see who's the best. BHA has two nurses on campus at all times, one on the main campus, one at the elementary campus. Whenever they're needed, for whatever reason it may be, they're always available. Right across from the nurse's office, we have the multi-purpose hall. The multi-purpose hall serves many purposes. It's multi-purpose. It serves as our cafeteria for when we have lunch. It's where we have our dhuhr salah. And anytime we have any event, this serves as the main hall. Here we have a wall of pictures that just gives us a glimpse at what student life is like at BHA. And right by it, we have the display of our drama team. BHA has a student's drama team, which competes at TAPS at the One Act Play competition, as well as holding several events over the course of the year, including major productions like the spring and fall production. It's carried out explicitly and only by students, and hey, you can even see me in there. There's me. There's me again. <laughs> and here we have the entrance to the new part of the building. This is where high school has most of their classes, as well as fifth grade. High schoolers move around throughout the building to attend their classes, whereas the fifth graders will stay in their locale. Behind me here, we have the fishbowl. It's what we call the student lounge. The fishbowl has many uses. It's used by 11th and 12th graders. Anytime they have a free period or one of their classes gets canceled, they can even come here after school, provided it's not too late. The fishbowl is a place for students to relax, unwind. We have couches and rolling chairs. We can get together with friends. We can study, do homework. Some of us even take power naps if we're feeling particularly tired that day. And here we have our gym. The gym is a central hub for all physical activity. So we have our physical education classes, the PE class. And up until middle school, it's separated uh, not by gender, it's separated by grade. However, once we get to middle school, we have the classes split into boys and girls classes, both of which have their respective coaches. The gym is a place where we have not only our PE classes, it's also a place where, let's say for example, our recess is canceled for any reason, be it rain, a particularly cold day, or maybe someday because of snow. If the recess is canceled, we don't want the students to be sitting around doing nothing all day, so they have the freedom to come to the gym and have some physical activity there. Here we come to the fifth grade hallway. BHA is an IBPYP certified school, which means that the students are taught to approach things interdisciplinarily. So here we have an example of students doing that, where their projects aren't based on one particular course. Rather, they take their understandings of things like mathematics, Islamic studies, and history, and put them all together to form an understanding of the world. There, in particular, we had students look back at our past to the Islamic Golden Age and understand the great thinkers of Islam like Ibn Rushd and Ibn Sina, Al-Farabi. They look at them and understand them and learn from them as a part of our multidisciplinary approach. And here we have our bigger trophy case. BHA has many sports teams, everything from a boys soccer team and a girls soccer team to a volleyball team to track and field, you name it, we probably have it. Our sports teams have been on a roll recently. Just a few days ago, our, so our boys soccer team won a game 15-0. and zero. Our girls volleyball team has won almost every single game they've played since last year. So whatever the case may be, whatever a student is talented at, they have the opportunity to express their talent and express their interest in athletics here at BHA. Let's take a look at our academic counselors. 
For both middle and high school, BHA has academic counselors on campus at all times who manage the academic affairs of the students. I know that personally, as a senior, I would not have been able to do as well as I did without them. They have been invaluable to us. Because, well, as a senior, there's so much that goes on, from college applications to grueling AP courses to everything that goes down in life. But with them with, by our sides, helping us through every step of the way, we have made it where we could not have made it without them. Oh, look who it is. Assalamu alaikum, Ms. Tahsina. This is Ms. Tahsina. She's our MYP coordinator, so I'll leave it to her to teach you what this is about. So the MYP program, or the Middle Years program, is part of the International Baccalaureate Organization. Um, here at BHA, we use the MYP program to develop open-minded, well-rounded students who give back to their community and are also global citizens. We help them develop real-world 21st century skills, and also at BHA, you get the added bonus of aligning the IB learner profiles and the principles with Islamic principles as well. All right, follow me upstairs. All right, so right here is our high school and middle school li library. It's open to all students. It's a great area to come up and study before classes, as well as just an area to come up here and take some of our media literacy classes that are led by Ms. Fatima and just other general workshops. There's also some computers that are accessible for research and just general use in between classes. This right here is my favorite quiet space to come and just learn right between classes as well as just memorize some Quran before some last minute testing. All right, and then right here is our computer lab where students get to take elective classes where they can learn coding, JavaScript, all through CodeHS. Right now we've entered the high school part of the upper level. And right over here is the second floor of our fish tank where teachers just get to watch over us just a little bit, as well as it serves as a teacher's work area where they get to get some work done in between classes. This right here is one of our visual arts program pieces that our students got to collaborate on. And I'm glad we just get to keep it up here to add a little bit of color to the space. And then right over here, we have our science lab. There is a middle school part and a high school part. Middle school is on the other side of this wall, but this is where I spend most of my time as a high schooler. We get to do a lot of um, projects and a lot of experiments with our physics, biology, chemistry, and just other science classes. And then this right here is the middle school part. It just works just as the high school lab does. It's just open to middle schoolers. Okay, this right here, I wish I could go inside and show you, but as you can see, it is the teacher's lounge. I'm not allowed inside, but this is where our over 120 staff get to come inside and do their work. They are all accredited and certified to teach in the state of Texas. And then right over here, we have our behavioral counselor's office. If they have an open door policy where any students can come in and just have like a talking session as well as report any bullying on our Stop It app that you can download anonymously and report any incidents of bullying in the school. And then right over here is our Dean of Student Affairs, Brother Sammy, who's actually right inside. He is the Dean of Student Affairs as well as Discipline, and he, as you see, has an open door policy, and he's just very accessible to all the students here. So now we're coming back into the middle school part of the second floor. Right here we have our visual arts lab where students in the MYP program get to work on hands-on arts projects in different mediums and just really get to show their artistic side of everything.
and we're just gonna go right back downstairs. Right over here is our basketball court where students have to come out and play during recess as well as practice during PE classes. And during lunch and recess, when the weather is nice, they get to come outside and have lunch and recess out here. And especially for the younger kids, they get to come out here and play on the play structures, just get a breath of fresh air and get outside of the classroom. Our soccer field right here is definitely where our students get to come out and show our school spirit and cheer on our soccer team, which has won four out of the last five district champion years. Welcome to the elementary campus, what we here call the ECE. As you walk into the ECE, you'll notice on your left that we have the BHA Musalla. Now, just like we had at the main campus, we had the multi-purpose hall, the BHA Musalla here serves just about the same purpose. Uh, every Friday we have a Jum'ah Sada for both the youngsters as well as a community Sada for people of all ages to come and listen to the khutbah and attend and pray together. If need be, we can set up tables as a cafeteria. We also have things like Grandparents Day and Arabic Night, various events for this, the students to be able to come and express their creative potential. Here we have our Media Literacy Center. The Media Literacy Center is a combination between a library and a computer lab. With the library, we have a collection of over 8,000 books in both Arabic and English, as well as an extensive online li uh, library. Right here, we have computers set up for children to be able to understand computers and the basics of their computer skills. This prepares them for later years, where in the further grades, they're going to learn computer science and computer programming. Back here we have the ECE nurse's office. As was mentioned earlier, both campuses have a nurse on duty at all times, should they ever be needed. Here we have the wudu areas. The wudu areas are separated by gender. There's a boys wudu area as well as a girls wudu area. It's where students can come to learn how to make wudu. Here on our right, we have the PYP office. Assalamu alaikum. I like to introduce you to Miss Nadia, our PYP coordinator. IBPYP is International Baccalaureate for Primary Years Program. It's for all students from 3 to 12 years old. IB is a framework guided by the six transdisciplinary themes of global significance. Here at BHA, we aim to develop IB PYP leaders who are lifelong leaders that serve their diverse community and their global society. For more information about IB, please visit our website or visit myib.org. As you walk down the halls, you'll notice that we have the walls lined with flags of different nations. This is because at BHA, as an IB PYP approved school, we try and take a unified approach to problem solving. We try to develop global citizens. Right here you'll see just one of the examples of the work that our students have done. At BHA, our instructional practices include a mix of traditional approaches to learning as well as modern, more hands-on approaches like projects. Thank you for coming to our virtual tour. We hope to see you here soon. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.